hello everyone welcome to my channel I'm going to teach you all Excel from basics since learning Excel cannot be covered in one single video because it has a lot of stuff to learn I'll be teaching you all Excel in different parts so I mean to say uh, I'll be uploading my videos in different parts so uh, please hang on to my channel and keep checking my videos so let's start from the scratch I know most of the people know how to do all this stuff um, this is pretty much pretty much basic but still I want to cover all these things because there are certain people who don't know uh, this stuff so let me start from how to open an Excel to open an Excel there are a couple of ways press the window button key on a keyboard which will give you the screen or you can click on Windows icon by using your mouse as soon as you click on that type Excel and it will automatically go to the search window all you have to do is click on this icon which will take you to the screen this is the welcome screen for Excel you can find a lot of options here and recently opened uh, Excel and there are a lot of templates to use uh, and the blank workbook so first thing is uh, I'm using Microsoft Excel 2019 so it depends which version you are using based on that the user interference will be different for Microsoft Excel 2019 this is how the user interference look like so as soon as you open the Excel from the start button you see this screen in that screen you can find home new if you click on this new a uh, new workbook will be opened if you click on open any existing Excel sheet can be opened from here so you can see there are a lot of existing Excel which you can open it or you can click on browse and you can go and look for the Excel where you have saved it and you can open it directly from that location the next option is account feedback and options account is nothing but using your Microsoft login um, you can log into this Microsoft Excel doing which it will sync all your account uh, details in the cloud and the feedback is you all know what is a feedback is so no need to give an explanation on that and the option is we'll get a lot of options you know to customize to change the settings in the Excel I think this is not required right now I, I can cover it in the later part of my video once we open the Excel all we have to do is click on the blank workbook which will create a blank workbook for you there's a new workbook you can see the workbook is named book one uh, which is a blank workbook uh, so this is how it look like so there are a lot of tabs here you can see home insert page layout formulas data review view help and all the stuff this these are the main tools we'll be frequently using while working on Excel whatever you see here are called cells and this thing is called column and this thing is called rows and the part below which you see here is called sheet 1 and if you want to create a second sheet you can call it as sheet 2 sheet 3 sheet 4 so likewise you can create multiple sheet in one workbook now let me explain what are those options are like the first option is home in that we'll find a lot of option uh, regarding copy cut paste formatting uh, alignment uh, condition formatting insert a row insert a column or insert a cell or delete a cell uh, there are a lot of useful uh, tools uh, which are in the first tab so the very first thing is paste cut copy format painter so you all know what is the um, paste is so if someone don't know let me go ahead and type test in one of the cell to copy that I have to click on copy using this icon or the shortcut to do that is control C so 
if I want to paste that particular text in some other cell, I have to click on paste here. So that is what it is. And uh, think that if you want to cut this, you can also cut and paste it. Copy is nothing but creating a duplicate of the same text somewhere else. Cut is nothing but you will cut that entire uh, text and you will paste it in another cell. Final option we have in the clipboard is Format Painter. I'll let you know how this uh, option works as I move on to Font Session. In the Font Session, first thing we find is Font. So you can see here, this is called Font where you can change the font style or whatever you want. For example, I'll go ahead and type test in one of the cell and I can change that font to whichever style I want. There are a lot of fonts to select so you can change to whichever style you want. Next is a font size. Here you can either select the size which is already predefined or you can manually key in the size like this. Type the number and hit enter. Or else we do have other option uh, which is like instead of entering it manually you can click on this option which will increase the font size. Or if you want to decrease, if you click on this option, the font size will come down. Next option is bold. So if you click on this, your text will be bold. You again click on that, the bold will be disabled. And the next one is italic underline. And there is one more drop down option. Um, that is, if you click on that, it will give double underline option. And if you don't want it, again click on the same thing and it will get disabled yeah. so the next option is borders right now we don't have any borders so if you want to add a border by default we'll get a border which is bottom border line you can see here I added a bottom border line or if you click on this drop down you'll get multiple options for the borders so if I select this and click on this option you can see you can put a border line by choosing any of this option if you don't want any borders you can click on no borders so there are a lot of options uh, you can play around with it the next option is fill colors I have selected this cell and if I click on this now yellow color will be filled in that particular cell so if I select multiple cells if I click on it multiple cell will be colored yellow since we since I don't have a borders that is the reason you can see everything blank here if you have a border this is how it look like see? so there is a drop down you get multiple options here uh, different colors where you can play around if you want you can select it if you want whichever color you want you can select for each cell and the next option is uh, font color let me type text again so think that if you don't like this black font color then you can go ahead and change that by clicking on this option right now you can see the font was changed to red and if you want some, some other color, you can choose from the drop down. You can see the colors are changing as I go over them. You can see the text is changing automatically. Right? Yeah. Now, let me go back and tell you the feature of this format painter think that uh, you have a different style here filling in hello um, and now the text is in a, a green color click on the, the cell which you like which has text and uh, font color and all those stuff whichever you want click on that cell and click on format painter 
and uh, whichever cell you want there you can paint it so now you can see this cell has the same format like this but only thing is the text is not there inside that so let me type test so the change is right it is the same thing so it, it saved a lot of time for you so format painter is nothing but you now painting the copying the paint um, copying the format uh, from different cell and pasting the same thing on whichever cell you want that's all I have for the session thank you so much for your patience and your time please do not forget to like this video subscribe and click on that bell icon once again thank you so much see you in the next video